Welcome to the Kafka data loading lesson. In this lesson, you will learn how to load data into a Kafka topic from a local file on your computer. You will also learn how to update Presto with the name of a new Kafka topic. And finally, how to query that topic from Presto using Presto's JSON function. Let's go ahead and start six new windows. I shut down everything after the last class. I'm going to stick to the same color scheme just so that there's no confusion. Let's first open up a terminal window and start Zookeeper. Next, let's open up another terminal window and start Kafka. You always want to start Zookeeper before starting Kafka, since Kafka depends on it. When it comes to shutting things down, it's advisable to shut down Kafka first before Zookeeper. We really don't have to. Next, let's open up the third window. In this window, let's create a new topic called PPE Availability Hospital C. And let's give it a partition and a replication factor of 1. We're going to use this Kafka topic to hold Hospital C's data. Next, let's describe the topic that we just created. Before we load data into Kafka, let's have a quick look at what the JSON file looks like. Let's now load messages from our file into the topic we just created using the console producer. Next, let's confirm the messages were received by our topic using the console consumer. Now that we're done with that, Let's open up yet another window and start Presto. You see, Presto is currently unaware of the Kafka topic we just created. Let's change that by adding the topic to the Kafka.properties file within the etc slash catalog folder. Save the file to retain the changes to the file. Let's go ahead and kick off the Presto server. And finally, let's start another window and kick off the Presto CLI. Once the CLI is up and running, let's show catalog. Next, let's show schema from Kafka. Let's now show the tables from Kafka.default. You can see the new topic we created shows up in this list from Presto. We see it here because we created the topic in Kafka and then added it as a table in the Kafka.properties file in Presto. Let's take a look at the first 20 elements. I'm going to reduce it a little bit just so I can see the outline of the table. We can see just like before when we had sample 1, sample 2, sample 3, that all the messages are contained in the underscore message column. Now, although Kafka is a schema-less message system, messages in the JSON format can be parsed by Presto's JSON functions. Let's examine the syntax. The first line is a typical ANSI SQL query. The next line does exactly the same thing as the first line, but instead, it uses a Presto JSON function. So we can use the JSON underscore extract underscore scalar to extract relevant information from JSON-based messages. So I'm just going to demo how I've used it here. For the first line, we extract the ID column and we just limit it to the first 10 elements. For the next line, we extract the category portion of the message and limit it to again the first 10. We repeat the process with product and number of units. Next, let's try something a little bit more interesting. Let's get the sum of the number of units column. Actually, let's remove the limit 10. Let's get the sum of the number of units for all N95 masks. And let's set the return type to double. We only have a single row for the N95 mask, and so the sum gives you the value of that row. Let's verify that with a select statement for all rows 
where the product is a N95 mask. It gets more interesting when we filter our query based on the category column, and this is because multiple rows share the same category. Let's confirm that with a select statement for all rows where the category is a mask. We can also do a sum of the number of units for all rows where the category is a mask. And with that, we've covered some simple queries using Presto's JSON function. In this lesson, you've learned how to load data into a Kafka topic from a local file. In our case, we loaded data from a JSON file. Next, you learn how to update Presto with the name of a new Kafka topic and also query that topic from Presto using Presto's JSON function.